Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a video all about pampering treatments that you can do at home. I did a spa video last year. It was a really big hit with you guys. It was more centered around having a bathtub. I wanted to do a follow-up video for anybody that doesn't have a bathtub. You still want to pamper yourself and do those luxury at home treatments. And I have some fun things to share with you guys. If you like these type of videos or beauty fashion cooking videos, I'd love to have you guys. You can take a second to subscribe. There'll be a little link right here. With that said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. I hope you guys like it. I always like to start my pamper nights with something warm to drink and it's usually it's something that's going to help me detox or hydrate me and I discovered this tea a while back at a health and wellness spa actually and it's called hibiscus tea. This particular tea is actually known to lower blood pressure, so it's really good to drink on a daily basis, but especially if you want to relax and decompress. You could drink it hot, which is my personal preference, or you could pour a little bit of honey in it and pour it over ice and enjoy it as a cold beverage. Also, once you're done with your tea bag, don't throw it out. The plant inside of it actually has tons of skincare benefits and we're gonna be making a face mask out of it. So we're just gonna take the insides out of the tea bag and we're gonna mix it with a little bit of honey and cinnamon. Just make sure it's completely done steeping, otherwise the red may, may stain your skin. If you don't have a candle or you don't have an oil diffuser, a really neat trick is to fill your sink up with really, really hot water to the point where it's steaming, and then add a couple of drops of any essential oil of your preference. I'm choosing lavender because it's known for its calming properties. Next, I like to remove all of my makeup and I'm using the Bioderma um, in the blue bottle. This one has become one of my favorites because it's really super hydrating. And after that, I go ahead and apply my mask because I'm gonna be leaving my mask on for the entire time, so about 30 minutes. Now that we have our face going, it's time to work on our body and give ourselves some really glowy looking skin for the springtime. I'm using this homemade coffee scrub that smells absolutely amazing, you guys. I wanted to eat it. Okay, not really, but it smells so good and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it right now. So all I did was mix some coffee and you don't wanna waste any coffee, so definitely just use the coffee grounds after you've made coffee. And then I added some honey to that and I also added cinnamon. Then I'm adding some vanilla and also some brown sugar and I'm finishing it off with extra virgin olive oil. You can use any oil that you want but I find olive oil to be the most hydrating for my skin. I also use it on my thighs because coffee and actually anything with caffeine is really good for cellulite. So that's a nice bonus. Also if you want to lighten any areas like your knees or your elbows, take a little bit of that scrub and put it on a lemon and then use that to apply the scrub. For the rest of my body, I'm going to be switching over to this brush from Vanity Planet. It's called the Spin for Perfect Skin Brush, and I really like it because it comes with four different attachments. One of them is a larger one that you can use all over your body, and then it comes with two smaller ones that you can use on your face, and then it has this really neat foot attachment that you can use for any rough skin around your feet, and I'm going to be using that to take care of our feet. We should never neglect them, and they should be just as baby smooth as the rest of our skin. I just start taking that all over the rougher areas of my feet, so like where my heels are, and also where the ball of my, my foot is. 
After that, I switch over to the larger brush and I use that all over my arms, my chest area, and also my back. And this is great because it gets all of those places that are really hard to reach and it gets them nice and clean. I do have a link that I will leave listed down in the info box where you can purchase this brush. And if you purchase it through that link, you get 70% off of your brush. And they do come in several different pretty colors. And then of course, once I'm done with all of that, I like to shave my legs. Then it's time to rinse everything off and oh my goodness, your skin is gonna feel so soft and your feet are gonna be so soft and you're just gonna feel so pampered. So now it's time to finish off our face. And I'm using very simple products. The first one is this Witch Hazel and I'm gonna be toning with that. And then I'm also gonna go in with Rosehip Oil to hydrate my skin. Rosehip Oil is an amazing moisturizer and if you're into all natural skincare, I highly recommend this. Now for my body, I'm gonna use this super luxurious body cream. It smells like almonds and it has little, um, you see those little pink balls are actually filled with almond oil and it's so moisturizing. So it's the best thing to finish off after using that luxurious scrub. And then I pretty much finish off my pamper treatments by giving myself a manicure and a pedicure. And these are some of my favorite uh, mani and pedi products. And then I always put all of my essentials, like my nail file and things like that, in this makeup bag. And this nail polish remover is amazing, you guys. Just thought I'd let you know. So I'm just going to be using this gorgeous blue nail polish by Julep. So those are my pampering treatments that you can recreate at home. I will have all of the recipes, to all of the scrubs and things like that listed down below. Also, don't forget to check out Vanity Planet. I will have the spin brush listed down below for you guys along with my discount code. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.